up with it, y'all? E-J-O. E-Business. This is your first time here. Thank you for coming. I hope you enjoy my reaction. So, what we're getting into is about EFF. This is uh, Julius Malama. I don't know if I said his name right, but it's him. And I watched a couple things about him with the land and all that. And um, I had, I did a review. Um, I forgot what it was on. It was on some, but like, I, I kind of don't really remember, but there was like a couple people that were saying like, how it was kind of like a sob story, how it like made it seem like like white people gave the land back and black people are getting attitudes, just, just something like that, you know? So I just wanted to learn a little bit, a little, excuse me, a little bit about EFF, all right? So here goes Julius, he's talking to the committee, obviously, about the land. So telling the committee on land reform what EFF wants, and this came out exactly two years ago to november 2018 right let's check this out all right y'all i'm curious thank you very much uh, chairperson um we all know that the eff table this motion parliament agreed that there should be a constitutional review process and uh, we should conduct public hearings it looks like some people got lost as we're conducting public hearings they thought we we're conducting a referendum that's why they are not dealing with substantive issues. Instead, they are dealing with figures and percentages, which confirms a serious crisis amongst those who are opposed to this um, amendment. And therefore, we should make it very clear that nowhere did Parliament say we must go and conduct a referendum. Our argument here for and against should be based on substantive issues and not on numbers. Once you rush to numbers, it means you have run out of ideas. And even those who came here to make presentations have not equipped you enough to raise substantive issues on why we should not amend the Constitution. And therefore, it's a blue lie from those who come from a blue party to say majority of people who participated in public hearings said they don't want a constitutional amendment. In a hearings where I participated, majority of our people agreed that we should amend the constitution because it must... Is that his bodyguard or something by him? Because it seemed like I seen him and other things and he's just always by Julius like, yo, yo. Like, is that his bodyguard or something? Anyways, let's go back. I'm serious. Like, what is he? Because I, I, all right. Give them access to land to resolve inequality, unemployment, landlessness, and poverty that is found amongst uh, our people. And therefore, they want the land to use the land to feed themselves, but also to empower themselves so that they can become active participants in the economy of South Africa. Because as things are now, they are marginalized. All of us should make one observation, that not a single white person supported amendment of section 25. And therefore ours is not a class division. It's not a class division, it's a, a racial division. I'm talking about participation of ordinary people, so please don't be sensitive. Because I was not sensitive when you were saying senseless things here. So, 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 uh, uh, not a single one. So, the South African national question has got nothing to do with class. First and foremost, it has got everything to do with race. And whites do not want the land to be released because that is what they regard as their privilege and that we must continue to be subjected to landlessness. So, the oral submissions were made. We have listened to everybody. Uh, the state incapacity in the past does not mean it's state incapacity in the future. That's why the EFF says the state must own the land because we are going to be government. So why do you keep on blaming the other state as if you are not preparing to be the state? If the problem was the state, 
take power and correct the witnesses of the state and give the people the land the way you want them to be given the land. Don't keep on saying the state failed, the state failed, as if the state is going to fail going into the future, unless you don't see yourself as government in the future. Uh, heated debate where there, of course, the land issue is an emotive issue. It was expected to have heated debate amongst our people. And all types of statements were made. And therefore, it cannot be that some people who come from parties which were in, in collaboration with the apartheid regime, that some people said white people must get out of uh, meetings. They, they were serious threats made in the meeting by white people, threatening the instability and the security of this country. And we never want to, you know, uh, belabor the point about such issues. They were to be expected. It's a public debate. But secondly, that, Chair, a lot of laws were passed by this parliament through public participations. None of those public participations actually were as attended like this one that we are coming from. Yet that participation, the small participations in the public uh, uh, hearings through parliament did not stop passing of any legislation. So here the people came out in their numbers even when it was not a referendum. So it can't be correct that no, because 1,000 people came, therefore 33,000 people, therefore what do you mean 33,000 people out of so many people? You want to take a decision based on 33,000 people? We have been taking decisions based on 500 people participation in public hearings in this parliament. And therefore attendance of public hearings has never been an issue. Reserve your rights. We also reserve our rights to defend this decision. For the first time, we'll be on the same side with Parliament. And you know what happens when we're on the other side. We bring the best legal minds to defend this thing. There's nothing wrong with this. Let's proceed, Chair, to amend the Constitution and give our people the, the land. Ramaphosa and the ANC is in a better place to defend Ramaphosa. Ramaphosa's uh, announcement on TV was a party position. The ANC has got a right to pronounce itself. No one here is going to take away the right of the ANC to pronounce where it stands. And Ramaphosa is a president of that organization. That, the president of that organization speaks on behalf of that organization. There was no ambiguity about that. Cyril made it very clear that the ANC has taken a decision. He never said government. Go and tell a judge that. Let's hear a sober judge listening to such a misguided argument where a party leader pronounces a party position and you confuse that with the state position. So the people who always make noise about separating the party and the state should know. Let's go and share that beauty of those meetings, successful meetings like that, where people were completely differing yet tolerated each other. There was no single drop of blood. There was no fight, no nothing. In conclusion. And, 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 and therefore... It will be incorrect for anyone to suggest that this was not a smooth sp process. It was a smooth process. Your ideas did not win the day. You thank lost. You, thank you very much, Honorable Omle. I'm with him. Julius, I'm with him. I'm with him. Damn. Man, let me know how you guys feel about him, man. Shit. That was... Okay, man, let me know how you guys feel, man. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel. That was some, damn. He got this point across. They were trying to get him to shut up too. Okay, wow. I'm with him, 100%. Man. Let me know how you guys feel about this, man. EFF, let me know if you guys down with them. A and C. What's up, man? Whoa, excuse me. Let me know who you guys down with, all right? We up out of here, man. I like that. I like what he was talking about, it though. Real talk.